Hey guys, welcome to episode four. Uh, my time here in Flagstaff is nearly up. That means uh, training's done and training's gone really well. So that gets a big thumbs up from me. I'll tell you what doesn't get a big thumbs up is that I've completely lost track of EastEnders. So if anybody feels like uh, messaging me and letting me know what's going on, that could be uh, really helpful. Uh, I'll see you back here in a little bit. Enjoy episode four. So my first week of training is done here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, it went really well, but it was really easy sort of training. After the last couple of uh, races in the last two weeks, uh, my legs needed a little bit of uh, time to recover. So that's kind of been really good timing to come up here. Kind of one main, main reason we, we did it was then now I can uh, get straight into training up here at altitude. Uh, all good preparation for European Cup. Um, Really going to be pushing the miles. Uh, first session is on the track tomorrow, so um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to really hurt. Morning, guys. Me and Adele on the way to the track today. Um, my session is pretty horrible. I've got about a few miles warm up, about eight minute miling pace, and then um, at 2k, one k, four 1k's to 500. So yeah, hopefully they'll be all around like four minute k pace. As you can see, it's nice and sunny, so I'm going to get nice and burks and a ginger. Uh, Adele's got a well easier session. Yeah, I've got um, 400, 500, 600, 800, 600, 400, That's a bit of pyramid there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be going for like ever. But yeah, and most of the endurance guys are down here this morning. We're at Northern Arizona University Athletics Track. I'll show you around. So my session's done. I've uh, got Carl Langford here. Okay. How was your session, mate? Uh, it was windy. Windy, yeah. Windy, very windy. What did you have? I uh, had, I was meant to have four times a mile, but I only did three. Okay. Went a bit hard for the wind. Yeah, yeah. Heart shot. Track's over 2,000 meters, so, so you really feel it, don't you? Yeah, nice. No, it's it. You don't realize it's the first lap, and then it's, you know, the other three, four, five, six. <laughs> it hurts. It starts to burn. No, it's, it's good weather, though, so it's worth it. It's just that wind. Probably hear it. Yeah. That's good though. I'm enjoying it out here. So here we go, we go. Morning guys, so today's training is 10k and then I'm in the gym. And then on Friday I've got a 20k and then a 10k day, so 30k in total. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. And let's see how it goes. So just recovering now after my 20k this morning. Um, was joined by uh, Harold from Norway and uh, Sophie Killer and Kate Spilsby were on the bike supporting us. Uh, Kate's my physiologist uh, here at British Athletics and um, Sophie's a nutritionist. Uh, she's really helped me work on, work on my race day drinks. Um, but they had my phone and so they thought it would be really funny to take some um, selfies which they thought would be hilarious and this is going to backfire on them because I'm now going to put them public on this video. Morning guys, so I just had 12k here and now we're straight off to the gym. My coach Dr Drake has, uh, has joined the camp. Uh, he had to make sure I finish off nice and strong. Okay, so it's question time. Um, thank you for all your questions that you've sent in. Uh, I'm going to answer a couple now. One of them is pre-race rituals. Um, no, I don't think I've got any. I probably do. I tie my shoelaces like at least four times, I'd say, from leaving the hotel room to actually starting the race. No, I don't think I've got any real strange ones. I'm sure my like, training partners or whatever will let me know if I can't think of any. The other one, what's the other one? Oh yeah, somebody asked me about like um, race walking muscles. Um, and they were saying like they can run a decent 5k but then they try and walk 5k. 
and they can't do it. My 5k PB is 18.39 walking. Um, and so yeah, of course it, it, it definitely uses different muscles, calves, hamstrings, all are like kind of fully extended as the leg comes down straight. Um, and so that's that can be really sore and really painful on them. Like like your shin muscle gets really um, sore as well. So uh, it does. But by aerobically, like I'm um, like any other runners, you know, um, it's the same. But then when it comes to the muscles, it, it does really use different um, different muscles. And so that's why lots of people ask me, oh, what do you think you could run for this distance? And it's like, well, it doesn't work like that. Uh, I need to do a little bit of training and sort my um, sort my running muscles out first, and then see what I can do. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you like, share and subscribe and check out my exclusive interviews that I've got on the channel too. See you next time.